Hello, thanks for joining me. I'm Lindsay and I am going to take you through a few Pilates exercises today just to try and get a little bit more open through our body, a little bit more awareness, try to cleanse everything internal and strengthen, stabilize it through our body. Okay, so we're going to start at the back of the mat. We're going to find the soles of the feet planted down into the floor, base of the heel, base of the sorry, center of the heel, base of the big toe, base of the little toe, forming those tripods and planting them down into the mat. As we plant the feet down into the mat, we're going to drop through the arches, through the inner thighs, zip up through the pelvic floor. Engage the core as you begin to draw the belly button back towards the spine and slide it behind the ribs. Drawn up through the pelvic floor as you draw the sit bones together into centre, as you draw the pubic bone and tailbone together into centre. It's four little bones scooping up. As you reach tall through the crown of the head, creating space into the spine and sliding the shoulder blades down. So fill the breath nice and widen the full into the sides of the body for a lateral breath. And as you exhale the breath, begin to connect into center. And then inhale one more time to fill wide and full and to prepare. And this time as you exhale and you connect into center, begin to nod the chin towards the chest and roll the spine down one vertebrae at a time. Letting the head let go. So we're not folding through the back of the neck, we're letting go of the spine. We're stretching through the backs of the legs. And just tune into how this feels in your body and in your spine and your shoulders and your legs today. Inhale the breath as you exhale, plant the feet into the floor, scoop up through the arches, the inner thighs, open through the fronts of the hips as you stack the spine with the last thing to come back up the head, crown of the head tall to the ceiling. Lengthen through the back of the neck as you inhale, exhale, nod and chin to chest, rolling your body down again, letting the head hands stretch through the backs of the legs. Inhale, push your feet into the floor. Exhale, scoop up the arches and inner thighs and bring the pelvis up into neutral. Lengthen the spine and stack the ribs and lengthen the spine and stack the shoulder and lengthen the spine and stack the head. This time, nodding the chin towards the chest, rolling ourselves down. As we get down to the bottom of our stretch, we're going to walk it out into all fours. So, tops of the feet rest down into the mat, shins into the floor. Our wrists are below our shoulders and our knees are below our hips with nice length from top of the head all the way down to the tailbone. Ready for our cat stretch. As we inhale and lengthen, begin to exhale, close the sit bones, tuck the tailbone, scoop the abdominals, round the spine, gaze through the centre of our thighs. As we inhale, we begin to lengthen the spine and then tilt the pelvis forward as we separate the sit bones, arching the spine down to the floor, gliding the shoulders away from our ears as we push the floor away from the, with our hands and lift the gaze, the chest and the heart. A little bit faster as we exhale we round and we empty the breath and then we inhale we lengthen separate the sit bones open across the chest and the collarbone lift the gaze and then exhaling emptying that breath one more time inhaling and lengthen and opening and then bringing it to all fours Ready for our thread the needle. Inhale to lengthen, prepare. As we exhale, the back of the right hand slides between the left hand and knee. As we wring out everything internal, we get that nice rotation into the spine and the waist. And then as we sweep that hand, we follow with our eyes and float the hand and the gaze to the ceiling. Push the floor away with the opposite hand and then rest that hand down. We're going to do exactly the same, except this time we're going to take our left leg out as we do it. Inhale to lengthen and prepare. As we exhale, thread that needle through, allowing your head and shoulder to sink as close to the floor as your body allows. Inhale, sweeping the hand and the gaze, open across the chest and the collarbone, feel that gentle stretch through our thighs. As we exhale, wringing it out once again. Inhale, feeling that stretch through that left inner thigh as the hand and the gaze reach tall to the ceiling and rest it down. Draw the leg in, ready for the other side. So lengthen and prepare, square off the Pilates box. Inhale and as we exhale, thread that left hand through. Let the shoulder and head sink as close to the floor as your body allows, spine as long. As we sweep the hand, we create space to fill that cleansed, energized breath in. Push your one hand to the floor, other hand to the ceiling, and then rest that hand down. Same again, but this time we stretch the right leg out. Inhale to lengthen, prepare. Exhale, thread that needle through. Left shoulder and the head sinking as close to the floor. And then as we inhale, we sweep the left hand, reach it tall to the ceiling. As we feel a gentle stretch with the right inner thigh, 
and then empty, exhale, flatten it through. Inhale, draw the breath in, open the body out, and then place the hand down and draw the leg in. Small little circles with our tailbone. So we've got a big crane on the end of our tailbone, circle one way and then the other way. Just give me a gentle release around the lower part of the spine and the pelvis. And then bring it into centre. Walk your hands back till your bum's down onto your heels. Hands forward, just taking it into a little shell stretch. And then walking our hands all the way back up. Bring it into kneeling. Feel the rolls with our shoulders. Again, just focusing on the side of the shoulders, then away from our ears. Focusing on our symmetry to the two sides of our body. And then we're going to bring it down into sitting. So find yourself sit nice and tall on the bony parts of our bum, our sit bones. Lift the rib cage out the pelvis and try to stack our ribs over our hips, our shoulders over our ribs and our head over our shoulders. If you find that a little bit challenging and feel a little bit slumped down, bring that little bend into the knees to allow that little bit more upright spine. We're going to start with our C curve, sending our arms forward. We're going to tuck the tailbone under, begin to open through the front of the hips as the back of the pelvis and the belly button start to sink down to the floor. Pause there, shoulders relax, gaze along the horizon so do not poke your chin or forehead tall, come straight onto the front of our neck. And then we're going to roll ourselves up and restack the spine. Two more, roll up the sit bones, tuck that tailbone under, open through the front of our hips. Back of the pelvis and the belly button sinking down towards the floor and then peeling it all the way back up, lengthening and stacking our last one. Tuck the tailbone, scoop the abdominals, rolling it down and then peeling all the way back up and lengthen the spine. Take your legs just a little bit wider, so a little bit wider than hip distance. Find yourself nice and tall into the sit bone with a little bend in the knees if you need to, otherwise the legs are lengthened. The spine is lengthened and we're going to try to focus and open across the shoulders and open across that collarbone and visualise as we have our back stacked up against the wall. The crown of the head reaching as far up the back of that wall as we can and taking our hands into first. Inhale to lengthen, lift the ribcage out of the pelvis and as you exhale, begin to peel the spine off that wall and reach your body forward so we're reaching up and over a big beach ball, crown of the head and the hands reaching towards the end of the mat. Feet stay flexed, inhale the breath. As we exhale, feel the back of the pelvis press against that imaginary wall behind your belly button, reaching to that imaginary wall, stacking the spine, one vertebrae on top of the other, shoulder blades gliding down as we reach the crown of the head is tall up the wall. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, nod the chin towards the chest. Lift the rib cage out the pelvis, stretch through the spine and the back of the legs. Inhale the breath and as you exhale, restack and lengthen the spine. One more, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, nod the chin towards the chest. Lifting and reaching and scooping those abdominals. And then restack the spine as tall up that wall as you can. And then from there, take your hands to the base of your skull. So we're going to take it to a spine stretch. If you need to, feel free to take your hands into this position. If opening out here and taking them above the shoulders is a little uncomfortable. So either one. If your hands at the base of the skull, I want you to use your hands to try and focus on lifting and creating a little bit more traction. So we're looking for as much length into the spine as we spiral upwards with the inhale. Exhale, rotate, pulse. One, two, three. Inhale, tall to center. Exhale, rotate. Ring it out. One two, three, inhale, tall to centre, one more side, exhale, one, two, three, inhale, tall to centre, and our last one, exhale, rotate, pulse, one, two, three, inhale, back into centre, and release it down, perfect, scoot yourself down your mat a little bit, so when you go down onto the floor, you have space, and just take your knees in towards the chest, give them a little hug, a little release, a little roll from side to side. And we're going to pop our two feet down onto the floor. We're going to bring our feet to hip distance apart to begin with. Pelvis is neutral, so our pubic bone and our two hip bones are nice and level. We have nice open through the sides of our body. We have that small natural curve in the lower uh, lumbar spine. Shoulders down away from our ears, so you can walk your fingers down to the toes to get that nice position and awareness before we go. 
And we're gonna cradle our head into our hands, lengthen the spine, elbows in our peripheral as we're ready for our chest lift. Inhale the breath, and as you exhale, let the head rest heavy into the hands, slide not of the chin towards the chest, to round yourself forward. And as you inhale, think about lengthening the spine down longer. As you exhale and round forward, we're looking for the pelvis to stay still, it's nice and still and stable, and then lengthen the spine away. Exhale, round it forward, and releasing it back. Exhale, round it forward, then we're gonna stay there. Five little pulses higher. Five, four, three, two, and one, and lengthen the body away. This time, take the two legs together, and take the elbows a little wider. Let the elbows rest as far down to the floor as you can. Well, again, if this is uncomfortable, change it to hands here, or if you need more stability, pop your hands down to the floor. We're gonna inhale the breath, and as you exhale, keep the knees, the ankles, and the balls of the feet glued together as you take your knees over to one side. So there's no sliding back and forward of the thighs, the knees stay connected, balls of feet and heels stay connected. We're going to have a nice stretch and open through the side of the body. We're thinking about the ribcage still softly drawn together. Back of the pelvis and the soles of the feet coming off the floor. And then squeeze the inner thighs together, connect through the core, zip the legs back into centre. Inhale, as you exhale, take the legs over to the opposite side. Pause there just for a couple of breaths. Just sinking into that stretch just a little deeper. Trying to maintain our shoulders and our arms rested down onto the floor if that works for you. Otherwise, take them to the side of the, uh, the body, resting down onto the mat, and then scooping them all the way back in. Inhale, and as you exhale, reach them over. Inhale, and press the legs together. As you exhale, come to centre. Taking them over to one side. Press them together, bring them back into centre. Last one on each side. Taking the legs over. And zip them all the way back in and take them over and press them back into centre. This time, take the legs over to the right. We're going to try and keep the elbows nice and wide. Hold on the legs there. Draw the wrists softly together as we inhale. And then as you exhale, chest lift into the face for five, for four, for three, for two, for one, stay up there, a little higher, five, four, three, two, and one, and rest it down. Let the elbows stay wide, our left elbow, we're going to inhale, and as you exhale, bring that left elbow on top. Now adjust your body if you need to, so our spine is long, the neck and head are supported by this underneath arms, try and keep the alignment through the spine. Make sure we don't let the body collapse down to the floor, so we shorten through one side of the waist and lengthen through the other. Keep that top hip pushed away, so we've got a small little gap there, our spine should be nice and long. So inhale to prepare to lift and lengthen and exhale to open it out. Inhale to float the elbow back up and exhale, close the elbows, stretch in between the shoulder blades and hug the waist away from the waistband. Floating it up and opening it out. Gliding the elbow back, wrapping the corset, returning to center. One more, inhaling and exhale to release. We're gonna pause there for the inhale and pause there for the exhale. And then one more, inhale, coming back up and exhale, rest it down. Open that elbow all the way back out. Float those legs all the way back into center and adjust yourself on the mat if you need to. Ready for the other side, inhale, and as you exhale, take the knees over. Inhale the breath, as you exhale, we chest lift for five. Exhale for four, for three, for two, and one, staying up there, five pulses, five, four, three, two, and one. Lengthen the spine down, open the elbows out. Then again, the right elbow now is gonna come over to that left side. Readjust if you need to, so we stack to shoulder, press that top hip away, so again, we've got that small space underneath, our spine is nice and long. We're gonna to inhale to open it out, 
and exhale to release. Inhale to lift and exhale to squeeze and return. Floating the elbow up, open across from elbow to elbow. Lower part of the body, trying to stay as stable as we can. One more, floating it up and releasing it down. We're gonna inhale there and exhale to sink into that stretch a little bit more. Inhale and as you exhale, taking it all the way back. Open it out one more time. Bring your legs all the way back into center. Hug your two knees in towards your chest and give that little roll from side to side. So this time, we're going to take our two legs up to tabletop. So bring that pelvis back into neutral. Walk your fingers down to the toes, slide the shoulders away from the ears. We're going to take one leg up and take the other leg up. So we're now in tabletop. Cradle the head into the hands. We're going to inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, chest lift, but legs at tabletop. And then lengthen back down. Exhale, round it forward. Heads heavy into the hands. We release down. Exhale. Pelvis stay stable, legs stay stable. So we've dissociated the upper part of our body from the lower part. The upper part of our body is moving, the lower part of our body is stable. On the next one, rounding it forward, five pulses, five, four, three, two, and one. So upper body's gonna lower and upper body's gonna lift. Lower body's gonna lengthen and lower body's gonna hug back in. Lower body stays still, the upper body releases and flexes forward. Lower body moves as the upper body is now still. One more, releasing it down. Exhale to round it forward. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to draw back in. From there, we're gonna keep our uh, heels together as we take our feet out into our frog's legs. So we're gonna imagine our V's like a little pizza slice in our feet. Our gaze is through the center of our thighs along the horizon. And we're gonna keep the upper body still this time as we push the V as far away from the body as we can and then hug the V as close to our body as we can. Push the V away, lengthen the leg, open through the hips, but keep hip to rib the position the same and then draw that V as close to our body. Two more, pushing the legs away. Draw the legs all the way back in. Our last one, push the V away now pause there, if you can, you're gonna lower the V down, scoop the V all the way up. Lower the V. And then scoop the V back up with that exhale. Keep pushing the V away from the body, so our legs are long. Exhale, scoop all the way back up. One more, inhale, lowering that V down. Exhale, Scooping the V back up, draw the legs in, release the head down, take hold of the knees, draw the right knee to right shoulder, left knee to left shoulder, and take that nice opening through our hips, that nice stretch. Perfect, glue the legs together, give a little roll from side to side. Okay, double leg stretch, we're going to break it down. We're going to start with our feet down onto the floor. We're going to nod the chin towards the chest, hands onto our thighs, and we're going to slide ourselves up, reach as tall to the tops of our thighs as we can, and then roll and lay our body down. Exhale, nod the chin towards the chest, slide in our hands up, and then roll and lengthen down. This time, slide it up and hold it there. If you need to, pop the head down onto the floor. Otherwise, we inhale, arms back in line with our ears. Exhale, sweeping it round. Inhale, arms back in line with our ears. Exhale, sweeping it round. Inhale, arms back in line with our ears. Exhale, sweeping it round. Take our right leg to tabletop. Take our left leg to tabletop. Super glue those legs together. Pelvis is neutral. Think about hip to rib position. Shoulders rounded forward. Hands reaching to the knees. The upper body staying still. The soles say upper and lower as we send the two legs away with the inhale. Exhale to bring back in. Now they can go taller to the ceiling to make this a little bit easier and draw back in. They can go a little bit lower to the floor to make it a little bit harder. But only take those legs as low as you can maintain your pelvis into neutral and the spinal alignment. Two more, we inhale to reach. 
and exhale to hug. Last one, inhale to reach, exhale to hug. Add the two together. Inhale, open and pause, exhale, scoop it back in. Inhale, open and pause, exhale, scoop it back in. Inhale, stable pelvis and spine, draw the arms and legs back in. Inhale, open and out, exhale, draw back in. One more, open and out, we're gonna pause there for three, and for two, and for one, slowly draw back in, press the head down, hug the knees, and give a little wall from side to side. Perfect, when you're ready, pop the hands to the backs of the thighs, not the chin towards the chest, bring yourself up into sitting, we're going to take it straight over onto our stomachs. So a little bit of work into our back. Lengthen your body nice and long. We're going to take our arms overhead. Take them just a little wider than our, our shoulder distance. Just to give ourselves a bit of space. Feet just a little wider than hip distance. Tops of the feet rested down into the mat. And we're just slightly hovering our head off the floor. So find that nice line. Tuck the pelvis into the mat. Scoop the belly button off the floor, glide the shoulder blades down away from the ears, although the arms are lengthened. We're going to start by inhaling, lengthening our right arm, and as we exhale, float the right arm up off the floor and rest it down. Inhale, lengthen the right leg. As you exhale, float the right leg up off the floor, create space under the thigh and rest it down. Inhale, lengthen the left arm. As you exhale, glide the left arm up and glide that left arm down. Inhale, lengthen the left leg, exhale, glide that left leg up, glide it down, and ready to add it together. We're gonna to inhale, slide the right arm, left leg away, exhale, lift for three, and tap, for two, and tap, for one, hold it there. Pulse a little higher, for three, for two, for one, and rest. Left arm, right leg, slide them away with the inhale. Exhale, lift for three, and lower, for two, and lower, for one, and hold. Pulse a little higher, for one, and two, and three, and rest it down. Back to the right side. Inhale, slide the right arm, left leg. Exhale, lift for one, and down, and two, and down, and three, hold it there. Pulse it higher, for one, for two, for three, and rest, left arm, right leg, slide away with the inhale, exhale, lift for one, and lower, and two, and lower, and three, and hold, little pulses, one, and two, and three, and rest it down. Slide the backs of the hands, one on top of each other, keep the elbows nice and wide so you can get your chest and your elbows, your armpits down to the floor, rest the forehead onto the hands, stabilise the upper part of the body as we take a gentle bottom rock. So we're rocking the bottom from side to side. This is very calming and organizing for the mind, body, the central nervous system. Nice if you have any lower back pain. Focusing on that dissociation, that gentle crossing over the midline. That nice, smooth, rhythmic movement. Keep it going for another five, another four, another three, another two, another one and rest into center from there slide your hands back in line with your chest slowly push it back into shell stretch watch the bum down towards the heels and lengthen the arms away nice big breath in as you exhale sink down onto the heels onto the thighs and into the mat and then walking it all the way back up and stack the spine then roll with the shoulders okay to finish with just going to stretch the sides of the body so we're going to bring our feet forward to begin with take our hands back behind and just give little wind wipers from side to side sweeping the legs keeping that breath coming in and softly releasing and then when you're ready we're going to take it to our mermaid so easier version of mermaid you're going to keep your legs out the frog's legs here sit nice and tall in your bony parts of your bum so you can keep your platys box nice and square balance through the two sides lift it out the pelvis next level take it to cross legs here or a little bit more challenging take it to our standard legs so try and plant the two bony parts of our bum down into the floor 
lengthen through the two sides of the body take our hands down onto the mat we're going to inhale as we reach one arm up and over and as we exhale soften the opposite shoulder reach the arm nice and long stretch through one side inhale tall exhale down inhale as we exhale lifting the ribcage out the pelvis trying to keep the sit bones planted down into mat inhale lengthen exhale reach inhale tall exhale down last one on this side inhale and exhale and over tall with the inhale glide it down if your legs are crossed change them the opposite way if they're staggered stagger them the opposite way find your body parts of the bum planted down into the mat once again zip up through the pelvic floor think about where the spine and the center our midline of our body is we're not shifted from one side or the other our sit bones are planted we're nice and open hands down walk your fingers away to create that space we're ready to go we inhale lengthen the spine and the arm the arm stays lengthened as we reach you over the crown of the head and the hand reaches tall and rest down inhaling and exhale inhale and exhale last one this side exhale out inhale lengthen to center exhale down and our last one inhale take that nice stretch over bring it to center rest it down perfect bring your legs into cross legs if they weren't already and then from there we're just going to round our shoulders frogs legs still if that's a more comfortable position for you perfect when you're ready inhale lengthen the spine as we exhale gentle nod of the chin towards the chest inhale to restack it exhale rotate to one side inhale center tall exhale rotate to the other side inhale nice and tall back into center well done that is you i hope you're feeling better after that session and um, hope to see you again for another one soon if you did enjoy it feel free to share this video thanks very much take care